So we know that, okay, uh, yes, uh, in the previous lessons, we talked about the uh, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and now we come to the last stage of the mitosis, which is telophase. Okay, the last phase, a okay, telophase. So for telophase, what you expect to see now, the cells even more elongated, and then it start to form something like this, okay, known as cleavage furrow. Okay, so this part we call it cleavage. Okay, furrow. Okay, now what happened is uh, the, the centrio is still at the two opposite end. Okay, and then your cell, the chromatid, eh, the sister chromatid will reach the, the pole and then uh, two, eh, separated into two nuclides. So nuclear envelopes start to reform. Okay, nuclear envelopes start to reform. Okay, so if you look at the previous diagram, you can see that two red, two blue. Can you see that? So they start to uncoil, uncoil. So you can see that the red, okay, yeah, two red, two blue. Okay, two red, two blue. But they do have a certain part still thick. Okay, some part is still thick because have it uncoiled, fully uncoiled. Okay, yeah. so some part is still thick because they're not fully uncoiled yet. So they start to uncoil to form back the uh, chromatids. And nucleus start to reform back. Okay, nucleus start to reform back. Okay. Yeah. So now let us look at this number of DNA per cell. So in this case, per cell, now this the whole thing are considered one cell, guys. The whole thing considered as one cell. So therefore, number of DNA per cell still remain as eight. Number of chromosome per cell. In this case, also one cell. So Total eight. So this one refer to the sister chromatic. Still refer to sister chromatic. Yeah. Can I see that? So what is the behavior of a chromosome? Chromosome. So first, they reach. Okay, they reach. Of, uh, sorry. Instead of said, okay. So sister chromatic. So what did they have? Sister chromatid actually reach the opposite end. Okay, the respective end. Then they start to uncoil to form chromatin. Okay, they start to uncoil to form chromatin for chromosome. So nucleus, center of nucleus, so start to reform. Nuclear envelope. They start to reform, so start to reform also. Centrosome or centrio. So they remain at their respective pole. Okay, now one, two, three, four. And uh, what else? Okay, spindle microtubule. So what happens with the microtubule? So in this case, we see that okay, degenerated. Yeah, okay, start to read. Eh? Uh, degenerated means that uh, broken down and plasma membrane. Now plasma membrane involved here. So formations of involve the formations of cleavage. Okay, so you can have a look. This is the event that takes place during the telophase. Okay. Clear? You are done uh, taking the photo or the snapshot, then please two thumbs up. 
Okay, yeah. so telophase. So means that we have done the mitosis already. You can see that two nuclei at the end will be formed. You can see that two nuclei will be formed. Okay, so therefore we have done for the mitosis. So after this phase, we're going to the cytokinesis. So what actually happened in the cytokinesis now, in general first, huh? I will go into detail later for cytokinesis. So for cytokinesis, now you can see that this clade furo now joined together, so forming two cells. Okay, it pinched together. So nuclear envelope fully formed now. Nuclear envelope fully formed. Okay. Then central. Okay, the central so. So in terms of the chromosome or sister chromatin now completely uncoiled from chromatin. Let's see that nucleus fully formed. Okay, yeah. so during cytokinesis, what you can see that number of DNA per cell, because you split into two cells already, number of DNA per cell, so now equal to four, number of chromosome per cell. Now, to get this, the chromosome here actually referred to chromatid. Okay, so after cytokinesis, you can see that number of chromatins here reduced to four, which is the original number. So in terms of chromosome, what is the behavior of the chromosome now? So in fact, we say that sister chromatids. Okay, sister chromatids completely uncoy to form chromatid. Okay. So the rest, we talk about the nucleus and uh, nuclear envelope, fully formed, okay, or completely formed. Fully formed, okay. So spindle micro, uh, sorry, centrosome. And central. So in this case, you can see that it has one pair of central per cell. Now. Okay, because two is now the one, and last we have a spindle microtubule. So in this case, completely degenerated. Okay, so this is what actually happened in the cytokinesis. Oh, always remember cytokinesis is not mitosis, yeah? It's not one of the phase of mitosis. Always remember. Okay, so I stop recording now. Okay, now, now in this case, we have had this thing. Eh? So, figure 11.11 uh, showed the animal and plant cell during a prophase. As I say, that prophase, sometimes scientists also divide them into three different subspaces. So we can see that the early prophase, prophase, and prometaphase. Okay, so it depends on the progress in this case. So normally, um, we can see this kind of structure. Okay, you can see that the nuclear envelope still start to disintegrate. You can see that nucleus still there. You can see that, let's say nucleus. And you can see a big dark dot here because chromatin now already start to a form chromosome. And you can see a prophase in this case and prometaphase. And you can see in prometaphase basically that it's almost similar to almost same uh, similar to the metaphase where chromosomes start to align at the metaphase plate there. Okay. Then you can see that the, okay, the structure of metaphase where you can see chromosome now. Again, a metaphase chromosome aligned at the metaphase plate. Okay, in terms of anaphase, you can see that the finger structure, okay, finger structure. Okay, so the sister chromatid move to the opposite pole away from the 
okay, away from the metaphase plate. In the telophase, you can see that they already reach and start to form the nucleus already. Okay. So now we we'll start with the prophase. What actually happened during the prophase? So in terms of DNA molecule per cells for humans, so 92, okay, because replicated already, right? So number of chromosome per cells, 46. So what's the behavior of chromosome? So first, you can see that in detail, I write that chromatin fiber, right? the 13 nanometer chromatin fiber now become tightly coiled, condensing into the shorter, thicker, and more observable or more visible form of the chromosome, okay? And each chromosome now appear as two identical sister chromatid joined at their centromere there. So each of two uh, chromatids of each chromosome now has a kinetochore, a specialized protein structure at the central uh, mere. So what you can mention about this kinetochore basically is a binding site okay, for spindle microtubule. Okay, centrosome only for animal or central. So during a prophase, centrosome now moves to the opposite ends of the nucleus away from another centrosome. Okay, so mitotic spindle microtubule. So starts uh, in the process of forming a uh, formation here. Nucleus. So in, in the start of prophase, nucleus start to disappear. The word we use nuclear envelope. We use the words disintegrate, okay? So in this case, start to be disintegrated. So this is actually the event take place during prophase. How about metaphase? So number of DNA molecules, still 92. Chromosome still remain 46. This is referred to the metaphase chromosome. So what's the behavior? So the chromosome now have all arrived at the metaphase plate. For each chromosome now, the kinetochore of the sister chromatids are attached to the kinetochore microtubule coming from the opposite hole. So don't worry about this kinetochore microtubule and non-kinetochore microtubule. I will explain it later. Okay? Centrosome, they already at the opposite pole of the cells. Mitotic spindle microtubules completely form, attached to the kinetochore of the centromere. Nucleus completely disappear. Nuclear envelope completely. Okay, this integrated okay plasma membrane nothing happened okay now, next and the face you can see that the characteristic the features the finger right structure right okay so now dna 92 chromosome here actually refer to what sister chromatid because of the divisions Okay, because of the division, so now become 92. Because cells haven't, we haven't divided the cell yet. Okay, huh? Behavior, so we use the word sister chromatid, separate at their centromere as the centromere is highlighted. Nice? Divided equally. The only word you can use, divided. You cannot use split, you cannot use the word break, everything cannot. It must be the word divided equally. Yeah? And then the two sister chromatids now move towards the centrosome, okay, in terms of animal cells away from the metaphase plate. But be careful, in the plant cells, you have to skip this one. We just say that if a plant cells, huh? if plant cell, then you, you don't mention centrosome. Always remember. So how we say it? We say that the two sister chromatids move towards the opposite pole, away from the metaphase plate, full stop. Okay, so because these microtubules are attached at the central smear region, so centromere always move first. Huh? So question always like to ask you guys to draw the face in an face. So how you draw? So always remember the movement. If this is the central zone, so you always draw this way. Centromere. Can you see that? So attached to the spindle microtubule. So you have to draw in such a way that centromere move first. Okay, huh? So centrosome, they remain eh, at the opposite pole. Mitotic spindle microtubules now become shorter. So that's why dividing the centromere. So the word again highlights divide. Okay, because of the shortenings, 
Okay, shortening out the spindle microtubule. Now, don't worry about kinetic core microtubule because we have two kinds of microtubule. One is the kinetic core microtubule, and another kind is we call non kinetic core microtubule. Okay, I will explain it later. So, the nucleus still remain disappear, nuclear envelope still remain disintegrated. Okay, plasma membrane, no event. So, when come to the telophase, you can see that the cells start from the cleavage furrow and it forms something like a nucleus here, okay? So the cells actually okay, become elongated. So number of DNA is still 92. Number of chromosome per cell is still 92. Behavior of the chromosome now is the chromatid already reach the pole of the cells, hence forming two separate nuclei. The chromatid now uncoined to form thinner, longer, and less visible chromatin fiber. Centrosome still remain at opposite pole. Mitotic spindle microtubule now totally eh, are broken down, start to broken down, or we say that degenerated. You can use the word degenerated. Nucleus, okay, are reformed. Nuclear envelope regenerated or reformed. Okay, cleavage furrow is formed in the plasma membrane. Okay, yeah? so now let me. What you guys need to do in this part, okay? So I have label with cell number one, number two, number three, okay? In one, two, three, okay? So what you need to do now, please identify the stage of mitosis. So let me off record a while. Okay, so now first, you can see that this cell, so number one, they already reached the opposite side. Can you see that? Okay, or reach opposite side, so clump all together, and you hardly see this what we call the pingle structure, right? So number one actually is a very, very typical uh, appearance of telophase. Hmm? It's a very, very typical. You can see that it forms something like this. Okay, the telophase. Number two, okay, so number two, you can see that it's a pingle structure. You can see that something like pingle. Okay, so sister chromatid move to the opposite pole, away from the metaphase plate. Can you see that? So this is a typical uh, appearance of the anaphase. Okay, typical appearance. Now, how about this one? Same thing, can you see a finger structure, right? So, okay, move towards the, okay, the, the opposite pole, away from metaphase plate. This is another example of the anaphase. But the good example is number two, eh? the very good, very clear example. Okay, it's number two. So the rest of the cells, you can see that they are still in the interface. Eh? You can see a nucleus, so they are still in the interface. But the question asks for mitosis. Eh? Okay, so number one, cells number one, can you see that the chromosome arranged at the metaphase plate? Can you see that? Arranged at the metaphase plate. So this is a very, very good example okay, of the metaphase. Okay, number two, I do not need to say today. Number two, okay, if you look at number two, so number two actually is the anaphase. Okay, no need to, okay. And number three, can you see that it's still, I mean, the chromosome still cluster at the one regions here. Can you see that? And then it seems like the nuclear envelopes just disappear. Can you see that? Just disappear. So in this case, this one is the characteristics of the prophase. Okay, characteristic of prophase. Now, I want to point to one cell here, which I didn't include. You can see that this one, this cell. So this cell actually is a characteristic of early prophase, which is you are not required to know. Okay, you can see that the chromosomes start to form already. Can you see that? Chromosomes start to form, nuclear envelope still intact, but it's still, I mean, it's in the process of uh, breakdown. Nucleus is still there. So this is a very, very early Prophase, can I see that? Okay, but this is a very, very, I mean, I want to say that uh, a typical example, okay, the appearance of the prophase. Okay, so this early prophase, then it will go to prophase, okay, early prophase, prophase. Okay, yeah? now this part a lot of cells, but I will choose some typical one to show to you guys. Okay, so first of all, look at these cells. I use the red color. So this one, okay, can you see that? They already reached the opposite side. 
forming a cluster like this. Now, hardly you can see the fingal structure in this case. So this one actually is a telophase, okay, T. Okay, now next, this one. Okay, you can see the chromosome now aligned at the metaphase plate, right? Aligned at the metaphase plate. So this is the metaphase. Okay, I choose some. Okay, this one. Again, metaphase. Okay, this one. Oh, sorry. Mm. This house, again, can you see that? So, telophase. Can you see that? Okay, uh, now this one is another metaphase. Metaphase. This one is very clear cut. Anaphase. Can you see that? This one also anaphase. This one also anaphase. Okay, very, very clear cut. Okay, now how about this, guys? If you look at this, this is early prophase. Okay, very early prophase. This is another early prophase. Okay. Mm. What else we can choose here? Now this one, right? Can you see that? This one. This one is a prophase. Okay. This one's prophase. You can see that's now nucleus no more already. You can see that no more nucleus already. Okay. Huh? Any questions so far, guys? If I want to label, still can. Got a number of them. Okay. Mm. This one also prophase. Yeah, we choose some right, to, to, to label. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now I want to look at these cells, guys. Can you see these cells? Now the original cells are longer, right? It is longer, but this one is separate though, very smaller. Right? Can you see that? One cell, the shape, this is cell. So can you see the formation of the cell plate? So it means that this one actually complete cytokinesis already. Okay, complete cytokinesis. Okay, another cell serving a very good example, a prophase here. Okay. Any more question? Okay. Uh. Now next, you can take a photo. Do we meet? I mean, we can go and when uh, this one is another. Uh, and if you want to put uh, this one is another inner face. Okay. Uh. Still got a lot. Of, I mean, uh, so just choose some lah. Okay. Now next, look at this. Number one. You see that the cells is still very constrained inside this, right? A nuclear envelope just like, I mean, it's, uh, disappear. Okay, it's like disintegrated, nuclear dis uh, disappear. So number one, actually, the answer is very clear cut. This is a prophase. Number two, also prophase. Okay, both of them prophase. Okay, now next. The sound number one, you can see that the finger like structure, eh? you can see finger like structures. So, this one actually is the look at this. This one is the anaphase. Now, this is it seems like not yet aligned. Can I see that? Not yet aligned. Okay, so this one is actually is a pro metaphase. So, either we see that it's early metaphase or late prophase. So, this one is a pro metaphase. Means that prophase enter into the metaphase. Eh? So it's pro metaphase. Okay, look at this number one. So it already reached the cancer, that reached the opposite pole. And then in this case, finger structure is not so obvious, both of them. So both of them are telophase. But if you compare, this one is almost done. This one is just beginning of the telophase, okay? So as I said, that's for mitosis. It's very difficult for us to pinpoint very clear cut when the one phase completes, another phase starts, okay? So again, now you can see that some of the cells here, not this one, 
very clear cut. You can see that aligned at the metaphase plate. So this one must be metaphase. So this one, can you see that they start to move to the opposite pole? Can you see that? This is metaphase plate. So this one is the anaphase. Okay, this one, okay, not yet aligned. Okay, not yet aligned at the metaphase plate. Scrap not. Okay, so this is a pro metaphase, or you can claim it as a metaphase. Okay, this one. So it's still start to form. Can you see that it's start to form? So this one is the pro face. Okay. So can't see the telophase here. Let me check any telophase. No, because the cells already divided. The cells already divided. Okay, you can't see the telophase. Okay. Huh? So with this, we have done for the mind. Mitosis, okay, so but before we end for the mitosis, let us look at this spindle microtubule or mitotic spindle. So, students always confuse about spindle versus spindle microtubule. Okay, so let us say spindle microtubule versus spindle. Now, during the during mitosis and formations of the spindle, what actually happened here is, now you can see that this is the centrosome, centrosome, okay? Then it's from the microtubule. From the microtubule. Are you clear? So then label it. This one is termed as spindle microtubule. Are you clear? So the entire structure is known as spindle. Are you clear? So spindle microtubule actually divided into two types. Why? Because this spindle microtubule, you can see that some of them attached to the kinetal core, not all, some of them attached to the kinetal core of the centromere. So this form of the microtubule that attach, so it's called kinetal core microtubule. Are you clear? So the one that didn't attach, to the kinetal core is called non kinetal core microtubule. So, what's the difference? Very quick, very simple. If you look at a kinetal core microtubule, they are involved in the movement of either chromosome or sister chromatic. Are you clear? Kinetal core. Non kinetal core involved in the elongations of cell. So make it become elongated. So let us look at this. Okay, now, do you, uh, no question to ask about the kinetal core microtubules and non kinetal core microtubules. Okay, but sometimes question may talk about this, then at least you know what is meant by kinetal core and non kinetal core. Okay, so you look at this diagram. You can see that this microtubule attached to the kinetal core. So this one is called kinetal core microtubule. So this is a metaphase plate, it's an imaginary plate. Can you see that? Okay, yeah? so we have the kinetal core protein here. So you can see a spindle microtubule attached to the kinetal core. So that's why it's called kinetal core microtubule. But you can see that some of these microtubules, they are not, can you see that? They are not attached to the kinetal core, so it's known as the non-kinetal core microtubule. So they overlap, when they overlap, and because the production of microtubule continue, you can kind of imagine I continue to add the microtubule, what will happen here is the cell now become elongated. Okay, oh. so quick one. 
So many of events, many many of the events on the mitosis depends on the mitotic spindle, which begin to form in the cytoplasm during prophase. I still remember microtubule. So this structure consists of fiber made of microtubules eh, and associated protein. So while the mitotic spindle assemble, the other microtubule of the cytoplasm partially disassemble, providing the material used to construct the spindle. Yeah. So the spindle microtubules elongate by incorporating more subunit of protein tubulin. So how they elongate? So this one, so they make it, they add. When they add, they form longer. When they remove the tubulin, they become shorter. Can I see that? Okay. Huh? So where is the formations of the uh, microtubules? Basically, assemble of spindle microtubules start at the centrosome. So centrosome is the mTOR, do you remember? Microtubules organizing center eh, for animal cells, so centrosome. Okay, so we have a pair of centrioles is located at the center of centrosome, but they are not essential for nuclear division. We, eh, until now, eh, we still have the, uh, not fully understand the role of the centriole, yeah? Okay, But apparently, if we destroy the centriole, mitosis still take place. And in fact, plant cells, they don't have centriole, but they do have the uh, what could this, uh, mitosis to take place. Okay, eh? So, in our syllabus, very important how we talk about it. If the question asks you about the role of centriole, so always remember they organize central organized spindle microtubule. Okay, to form spindle. Are you clear? But if the question asks you to ask for centrosome. So centrosome actually formations of spindle microtubule. Not only form, but they also organize spindle microtubule. So, so far question always focus on centrio. So when centrio always remember, they organize spindle microtubule to form spindle. Okay, huh? they are not the one they form because why in plant cell, in plant cell, we don't have central, but they still form spindle. Can you see that? Okay, they still form. Okay, huh? so during interface, okay, the single centrosome again okay, duplicate forming two centrosomes. So, like right now, this is happened during G1. Okay, G1 start. G2 complete. Okay. Always remember centrosome duplicates during G1. Huh? But most of the time we don't talk about it. We only talk about the G2. So students always think that oh, only G2 they duplicate. No, G2 basically they complete already. Okay. So the two centrosomes move apart during the prophase and pro metaphase of spindle uh, of mitosis as spindle microbe will grow out from that. So by the end of the pro metaphase, the two centrosomes one at each pole spindle are at the opposite ends of the cells. Okay, huh? so the rest just for information only. So each of the two sister chromatids has a kinetic core, a structural makeup of protein that have assembled a specific section of DNA at each centromere. So chromosome have two kinetic core facing in opposite direction. During prometaphase, some of spindle microtubule already attached to the kinetic core. So this microtubule is known as kinetic core microtubule. So basically, this is the chromosome. So this is a spindle. You can see the edge. So this is the kinetic core. So how it functions? As I said that, yesterday I showed you guys. So when one of the chromosome kinetic core is captured by the microtubule, the chromosome begins to move towards the opposite pole. However, this movement is checked as soon as the microtubule from the opposite pole attached to the kinetic core. So we try to imagine that, guys. So this is all right, starting the cell. So if a chromosome is here, so kinetic core move. So it will force the microbe, this chromosome to move to the metaphase plate. But at the same time, you have another kinetic core. So it means that when it reaches at the center here already, metaphase plate, then they are checked. So both sides, same force. That's why they align at the metaphase plate. Okay. So the chromosome move first in one direction, then in the other, back and forth, 
finally settling at the metaphase plate there. Okay. So meanwhile, microtubules that do not attach to kinetic core is known as non kinetic core microtubule. So what they do, they actually overlap. Okay. So the spindle now is complete. So anaphase begins suddenly when the cohesion holding the gather resist chromatin of each chromosome are cleaved by the enzyme called separase. For your information only, once separated, the chromatin now become full-fledged chromosome that move towards the central. So, so during anaphase, chromosome movement is correlated with kind of call microtubule shortening, eh? shortening. So due to depolymerization. So in, a, in dividing animal cells, the non kinetical are responsible for elongating the whole cells during the anaphase. non kinetical microbial from opposite pole overlap each other. Try to imagine that, guys. Uh, form, this side also form. When they overlap already, then they continue to form. It makes it become longer. Can you see it continue to form? It makes it become longer. So therefore, the cells elongated. But at the end of the chromatin, eh, anaphase, since the chromatin have arrived, Opposite pole already, nuclear reform during telophase. So at telophase, now spindle eventually disassembled. Okay, or we say that degenerated. Okay. So again, what you need to know for this, very simple. First, we need to know. Okay, we have the spindle microtubule. So this spindle microtubule divided into the kinetic core. Microtubule and non kinetic core. Microtubule. What is their role? Kinetic core microtubule involves the movement of chromosome. This one during the prophase and metaphase. Okay, so that align at the metaphase plate and also the sister chromatic during the anaphase and telophase. non kinetic microtubule, they overlap. They have the involvement actually in the elongations of cells during the anaphase. Okay, huh? so this is the general summary that you need to know for spindle microtubule. Okay, so next you need to know central. So central, they organize this spindle microtubule okay, to form spindle. Okay, huh? So with this, I've done for the mitosis.